Awesome. Hi, welcome everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Crimson. Welcome to this week's uh, Deco Art Facebook Live, and we're excited to show you a really fun project today that Crimson designed. Um, that's fun to create. Really easy. It's really easy, <laughs> and it's really fun to create the things that you use to make this project because it's made from corks. Yeah, so this is it. Yep. Yeah. So you can have, drink after you drink your wine or anything using a cork. You can hold on to those and create some really fun art with them. And um, this particular piece is a wreath that you can hang on your door for the summer. And Crimson is going to show us how she did this. Yeah, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. We just had these little cute little rings, so I, I decided to make a smaller one. And um, a funny story is that. We can only find so many corks that we were like searching and searching oh. because we didn't have any saved up. Uh -huh. And then we found this big bag at like a thrift store. Oh, that's funny. After we had already made it. So now we can make a really big one. <laughs> so plan ahead when you drink your water yeah. bottles to save those corks. <laughs> Always save them. Right. But um, so, like I said, you can use like a ring like this or you can probably even cut one out of cardboard just layer it up so it's a little bit thicker. This is just like a MDF board ring. Where did you get that? Um, they have them at any craft stores. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's it's usually in the floral section. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Yeah. So what I did with the corks first was to just kind of go through, and I'm making these flower shapes out of let's see two four six seven corks, and I, I you know they don't have to be perfectly the same. I just kind of found ones that were, you know, pretty much the same size to do that. And I used E600, but for the video today, I'm going to show you with hot glue. So you could e use either or if you have another favorite glue for those type of things. It's always fun to use that. the hot glue gun. Yeah. I, I, I will take it's any a excuse. A lot faster. Yeah. Yes. I love my hot glue gun. I'll take any excuse to use it. It's just fun to use. So I'll start with that middle one. Mm. And you just kind of butt them up against each other, kind of squeeze them. You know, you want it to cool off before you start moving them around a lot. Let that glue stick together. Is that a trick with hot glue? Yeah, you, you always want to let it, you know, cool before, because it's still malleable uh -huh. before that, so. It's good to know. Yeah. You just keep building your flower shape. I just think cork is such an interesting piece to use for this. Cork, I used to work in the liquor industry oh. <laughs> before here, so I learned a lot about cork, and it's such an amazing process to create just one cork. I love that you're reusing this yeah. because you really don't, I think it takes almost seven years for a tree, oh, wow. the trees that cork comes from, to actually mature and be able to use to create it's it. definitely better to upcycle. Yeah. Things. And so like you saw, it leaked a little bit on the bottom, so you'd want to maybe use it on a nonstick surface or pull it up before it completely cools that way. It won't rip the paper, whatever you're using. Awesome. So you just set that aside and let it dry. Then I have one. Well, the first thing I would do is um, base coat this with this pretty blue color. And it is our Americana acrylics. That's what we're working with today. Mm -hmm. And it's the Bahama Blue. And the Americana acrylics are really great for all different types of projects and have great coverage, as you'll see. The great thing about Americana is there's over 220 colors yeah. to choose from. So you can make a summer wreath, a fall wreath, right. a holiday wreath. You can make wreaths for all your Christmas presents. That <laughs> might be kind of fun. There's a lot of cute um, projects with corks. Too. Yeah. And Americana is great to use with all of those different kinds of projects. That people have made pumpkins and, you know, I'm sure whatever yeah, shape you could think of. So bright. Yeah, look stuff. at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. And if you guys haven't um, seen yet, our new 2021 Americana colors are now up on decoart.com. They are available. It's a beautiful palette that um, I think will be really exciting for those of you that have used Americana for many years to add to your collection. Yes, definitely. They're, I love the new colors. Yeah. They're awesome. Um, while Crimson is painting, that just reminded me of something else. We have a giant summer sale going on right now on decorart.com. So a lot of individual colors and products are on sale. It's under um, shopdecorart.com, the decoart summer sale. Um, you can't miss it if you go to the website. So check that out. It's while supplies last. And it's just a wide assortment of different things on sale. So get it while you can. It's good stuff. 
And normally I would paint the edges, you know, just for a more finished look. But I think, well, I'll just go ahead and do that. It's not very, it's not taking very long. coverage took a second. I know, it's, it's so amazing. fast. And you know, you're covering the majority of it with the cork, so mm -hmm. you don't even really need a second coat, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to add that, just let it dry and add that second coat. You just want it to be, um, you know, really dry before you start trying to glue your pieces on there mm -hmm. so they don't pop off. Now, mine might not be completely dry, so don't use my timeline. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it might be. How long does it typically take for Americana to dry? I mean, like it dries that? pretty fast. That's okay. why I was saying, like, it probably will be dry by the time we get to the gluing on part. But okay. Yeah, it's, it's, I would say, like, to completely cure, like, maybe a, a day. Oh, wow. Not even, okay. not even that much, but, like, it's dry to touch while you're using it. Depends on the surface you're painting. Yeah. And probably the temperature of the room, that type of stuff. But yeah, and humidity and things like that. That's one of the things I like about it is that it does dry pretty fast. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're trying to do multiple layers in a project or adding colors on top of each other, Perfect. Yeah. I'm just really, I mean, I haven't seen you paint out Americana in a little bit and just the coverage. I'm always blown away. Yeah. And it has that great matte finish. It's so beautiful. Bahama Blue. Yeah. It's one of my favorite colors. It's a good one. <laughs> I've noticed that um, this color has been in a lot of the fall decor this year too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. Like a bright non-traditional fall color mm -hmm. and people are already starting i mean people started actually all right, a few weeks ago with fall decor oh, I know. back to school so we're still holding on to summer a little I know, bit we're still trying to make a summer read. this one but <laughs> it'd be easy to use fall colors for the same idea for yes, sure absolutely let's see if i got some baby wops baby wops are great to love me you're a messy painter wipe your fingers <laughs> off <laughs> in the middle and we're calling this an adult summer craft because so much of what we see is all about kids summer crafting, which is great. I have my two little ones that I love to craft with in the summer. We go outside, yeah. but sometimes I want to do a craft myself and I love that this is a fun adult summer craft to use your wine corks and make yeah. a fun festive wreath with. And I can make something on the side while you're working Absolutely. something else. They're just play in the paint like they usually do <laughs> and get it all over themselves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now with our little flower buds. Pretty. I used some warm colors that are really pretty together. The scarlet, the coral shell. Yes. <laughs> Let's just shake those up. And I, I just thought these colors looked just so, you know, crisp and beautiful, like for that summer look. Love it. And with Americana, is it always good to shake them before you use yeah, each time? Yeah, sometimes they settle. I mean... I always shake it just in case. Make the color more consistent in the yeah, bottle. Yeah, definitely. Because sometimes if they've been sitting a while, they do get a little watery at the top and you'll like mustard. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you always have to shake mustard. Oh, yeah. That's the worst when you try to squeeze <laughs> the mustard out and it's not all mixed up. <laughs> so sometimes for that first coat, I add just a touch of white just to give it a little bit more coverage. That's a great tip. Depending on what surface you're using on, especially if the surface is a, a little darker than what you're painting on there. It just helps that. That's a great, great tip. So I just kind of took a small flat brush and just did the tops. So now if you wanted to paint the whole thing, you could. I just thought it was really super simple and I like that some of the cork is showing. It just shows you know, what, it, what it's made from, but it's mm -hmm. cute. That is really cool. Makes it feel like French bistro-y. Yeah. Your corks. And this project goes pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, we're only getting video, it takes, I mean, it feels like it's <laughs> longer, but. <laughs> As you can see, I've almost got one done. And you can glue it first if you want to, you know, paint it after it's glued. Either way. You know what might be fun is like a group project you could do. Like each person paints their own flower. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, everyone have their own circle wreath and you can all like 
exchange flowers and then you have like a wreath that was made between you and friends cute. or you and yeah. family and it could be like a cute little That'd memento thanks a friends giving or like a baby in um, a um oh, baby yeah. shower like everyone paint their own little flower wreath that goes on like maybe some sort of um like hanging yeah or a reunion i got all sorts of ideas for this <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be great if people left their ideas too. Yeah. In the comments. You want to drop that in the comments? Yeah. So we are doing a giveaway today. Um, if you comment, let's see, let's comment your favorite, what you would make with a court craft, like any ideas you have, that's what we'll say. And you'll win a set of the new Americana colors, the 2021 oh, colors. Yay. Yeah. So tell us what creative ideas you have to do as a court craft. You know, a lot of the corks have these little mm -hmm. popped up pieces from, I guess, where they were taken out with the, mm -hmm. but you know, it doesn't diminish, I don't think, the, yeah, the look of the character. project. It's fine, yeah. If you wanted, I suppose you could kind of razor blade that off. Yeah. But I like the character. And I'm sure like one side, you know, you could, mm -hmm. I didn't pay attention, but you could mm -hmm. like only put those on the bottom or something if you wanted to hide them. I love that. we have that orange color it does go pretty fast yeah i might take a little bit more time just to make those circles a little cleaner but you know it doesn't even i think it looks fine though mm -hmm. let's see i'll do one more so you just kind of alternated which ones you use yeah. the orange for the middle or for the outside petals yeah and that's more of your you know preference just whatever you want to do and if you wanted to add colors or take colors away or do different colors they'll still be a cute project mm -hmm. and with your color palette so while those are sitting up a little bit i'm going to show you what i did for the leaves and you just take a cork now i used an exacto knife that's probably why it's better for an adult project right if you're gonna you know have someone younger do it you could cut it for them or you could use whole ones instead but i just thought them sliced in half looked cute and it cuts pretty easy you just go in there i do sort of like a up and down sawing motion it's kind of tricky to cut sometimes but the good thing is that that rough side is going to be glued down here i can see it <laughs> right all those dusties off because they're not sticking your glue. So then I laid those aside and I just took some of the really beautiful citron green and mixed it with a little bit of white. Now I think, um, now these leaves I do think take a, about two coats and so I just made like a little leaf shape. Now you could paint your cork like all solid and then you know be more abstracted leaf i just wanted to do a little drawn leaf that's really loose and what i did was once that paint is pretty dry i just took like a, a green sharpie and did like a, a veining in the outside edge made it pop a little bit i really like that Thanks. I never would have thought of that. It's so pretty. So it's just real simple and easy to get that look. I think some of these leaves are still wet, so I'll wait on that. I'll paint this little leaf over here. So pretty. Again, if you're just joining us, make sure to comment what kind of wine cork or cork craft you would like to make or some ideas you have. We'll pick one winner who comments to win a set of the new 2021 Americana colors. The whole set. I think it's eight colors. Beautiful palette. They're so pretty. Yeah. Very cool. We're also having our summer sale online. So you can go online and check out the tab called Summer Sale. And there's all sorts of great things um, at 50% or even more off. Just a variety of colors and products that 
we had a little too much of, so we're offering them out on sale. Lucky you. Yep. I love that color too, yeah, that peach. Yeah, so pretty. Coral shell. That's beautiful. Yeah, I just love it with all of these colors together. That's I'm a beautiful that color. color. Yeah. And like I said earlier, I just added a touch of white just to make it a little bit more opaque for that first coat. Amazing. And honestly, I did it, you know, thinking that I would put a second coat, but most times I don't even need the you second need coat anymore yeah. when I do that, so it just saves paint a little bit. I thought that these corks would absorb the paint really quickly, but... I thought so, too, yeah. but they really don't. It sits very well on there. Beautiful. This color combination is so unique. It's a little bit of our logo color. Oh, Are you yeah. inspired? Probably. <laughs> Unknowingly. <Subconsciously. laughs> that happens, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Like she said earlier, I'm just alternating that, and you can do it however you like. You wanted to have them all the same colors or even different colors than I'm using. So fun. And again, there's just so many colors in the Americana family to choose from. You could really create any sort of palette look you want. You could save corks from special occasions mm -hmm. and put them on a wreath like this. Yeah. Or some sort of cork craft. You know, paint them with something special, like a color. Maybe if it was an anniversary or graduation, or something really special school colors. Yeah, there's so many possibilities. Beautiful. Oh, I love how it comes together so well. It's so fast. It really That's... is. Those are fun. Get this last one on and I'll show you. I think this is, yeah, this is dry know. already, so that's good. I like how you left the edges raw so you can see the cool designs on those corks. Yeah, I think corks are pretty, so they are pretty. I wanted to be able to show those off. You could add your colors any way you like, if you wanted to cover the whole thing. There. I think it's the idea of that. Cool. And so, you can even glue it while it's drying because you're not touching that top part. And so before I glue, I would want to just kind of see how I'd want it laid out to get an idea. And did you do this before you started painting too? Just kind of lay it out to see what you were going to create? On yeah, that? like with the corks. I just taped them together like oh, in a flower shape and okay. just kind of laid them out to see how would that look. Yeah. So. That's smart. That's a good way, especially if you're going to use the E6000. Um, you want to use masking tape to tape your um, flower shape. I'll show you real quick. So once you get that glue in there, just like we did the hot glue, you'd want to wrap them pretty tight and allow them to dry. Mm. Just like that. So it stays. Yeah. And, and then so we'll... once it's dry, you can just take that off. And then awesome. you're at this point. Yeah. So when you get those the way you want, you can just load your hot glue gun first. <laughs> I always love reloading the hot glue gun. It's, kind of, it's at that weird stage where it won't come yeah. out, but it's... <laughs> For some, it's so satisfying to load that gun. I don't know why. You have a fresh set of hot glue. There's that. Awesome. This could even be like you wouldn't have to put a hanger on it. It could be like a like a table centerpiece or oh yeah, that's a great idea something too. like that. What a fun idea for a special party occasion! Yeah, and so then for the leaves, I just kind of I'll show you before I draw on them. I just kind of stuck them in there like that. Get a little loose piece of glue, just 
If you're brave, do it with your finger. If not, you'd use like a popsicle stick or something. <laughs> I think I've burnt all my fingerprints off, so we're fine. Hazards of the train. <laughs> so fun. Yeah. And really quick. Really quick. And you can touch up any areas that you need to. Mm hmm I can't believe that blue was just one coat. Yeah, it, that was great. <laughs> well, I didn't do my spacing right. So that's the that's the good thing about planning it out first. So you would lay your leaves out too, just to make sure that they're gonna fit. I'll maybe get one there. There you go. <laughs> that works. It's fine. And then with hot glue, I've not, you know, if you make a mistake, can you pull it up? Is it? Yeah, um, you can. Let's see. If I was like, oh, I need to move that. Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, it's not completely cool. So, like I said, that's why yeah. I'm going to let it cool for it. I might leave that little nasty yeah, spot. Yeah, and then you can kind of pick that off. Yeah, and once it's it dry. With leaf. It might pull up the paint, but you can just touch it up. I've made a lot of mistakes, so you can tell. I'm like, you can pull it up. You can pull it up. <laughs> but that's Listen, you can always about, paint over it. You can always mistakes. paint over it. That <laughs> is so true. Once I learned that and took it to heart, it was a lot less stressful. You can always paint over it. That is a great thing to remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have know. plenty of paint. Now, you know, you could, for a hanger, like I did for that one, you can know, get whatever kind you want. I just took two that. I thought I'd like to keep together that is and so just kind of twisted them. That is so cute. Like that. It pulls in the orange so well. Yeah. And you could do like a little tack of glue to keep that twisted before you glue it to the back. So cute. I don't know if I want to flip it over and do that, but you get the idea. You would just, once your paint's dry, you could just flip that over and glue it to the back, and then you'll have a little hanger if you want so to hang it on the cute. wall. So I love that. Yeah. But I also would love this as a table centerpiece with a line there or a flower yeah, vase. I, I really like that idea. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. A really fast project. Wine court crafts. Yeah. Guys, don't forget to comment what kind of court craft you have or you'd like to make, and we'll pick one winner to win an entire set of the Americana 2021 colors. And thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you, Crimson. Yeah, that no was problem. beautiful. Have a great day.